currently Kirkland. Your source for city news and events in the community. With Scott Mullen at the news desk. Stay up to date with weekly news reports on what's happening in Kirkland. Now, here's Scott. Hi there, I'm Scott Mullet, and this is Currently Kirkland. Every week we're here with the latest in what's going on in Kirkland. The Kirkland Senior Council's educational video, Falling into Fitness, Strength, Balance, and Mobility for Seniors, is nearly finished. The purpose of this video is to motivate older adults toward fitness through humor and education with the goal of falls prevention. Here's a sneak preview shared with the city council earlier this month. I worry about you sometimes, Mom. Maybe you should consider taking it a little easier. Oh, there's another scarf. It's been five years since Dad died. And you nearly had a fall last week at the grocery store, remember? You were reaching for that box of double heat chili cheese tortilla chips on the top shelf? Well, nothing happened. I just got a little dizzy. But I got the chips. Oh, the scarf. Mom? Mom! In the old slapstick movies, falls were funny. We all laughed because everybody knew that nobody really got hurt. But in real life, they're nothing to laugh about. When they happen to elderly people, they can be especially serious. The facts are that one in three adults over 65 will fall this year. And 20 to 30 percent of those who do have a fall will suffer an injury that's severe enough to reduce their mobility and independence. See this Kleenex box? I'd like you to come here, pick it up, and hand it over to me. What kind of exam is this? <laughs> Who can't reach? Go ahead. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, Wilhelmina. You failed every test. You'll have to build up your strength, balance, and agility. I'd like you to see Martha. She's a physical therapist who can get you started on a program that will reduce your risk of falling. Now, if you now take your left arm off the bar. Okay, good, hold on. All right. Good job. I'm glad that's over. <laughs> Way to go, Mom. <laughs> I'll be right here. Okay. One more. Okay. All right. Well, Amina, <sighs> you're making really good progress. <laughs> good job. Well, I better be because you know I sail for Tahiti in three weeks. Yeah, well, you've improved a lot since we started 15 weeks ago. And if you keep exercising, then you should be able to do most things without a major risk of falling. I'll lock up, Mom. Okay. You get on your way. Thank you. As we age, we lose muscle strength and balance if we are not engaged in an active physical program. Maintaining and increasing your strength will help to ensure that you have many years of dependable mobility. Take care, Mom. Look for the completed video at the end of October as part of the Kirkland Senior Council Spotlight Series. It will air on K-Life, Comcast Channel 75, and Frontier Channel 32, through the month of November. It will also be available on the web. For schedule information, go to the website below. King County wants your voice. Sorry, it's not an American Idol audition. Budget priorities in challenging economic times is the topic, and it will be addressed at public forums taking place through October 17th. The countywide community forums take your opinions on issues like the budget, law enforcement, the environment, and transportation, and deliver them to elected officials. To find out where you can attend one of these forums or take an online survey, go to communityforums.org. Remember, the deadline is October 17th. 
In addition to the survey, you'll find other information and discussion postings about the budget shortfall. Kirkland also wants to hear from you. Coming up this month, Kirkland's preliminary budget will be available online October 21st. Comments and suggestions on the preliminary budget can be emailed to 1112budget at ci.kirkland.wa.us. For upcoming budget meetings and milestones, or to check out the preliminary budget, go to ci.kirkland.wa.us backslash budget, or look for it in the next city update. And speaking of the city update, it so happens that the third quarter edition is now available online. You can access it by going to the city's website and look under what's new, or you can type city update in the search box. If you'd like a printed version, you can pick one up at Kirkland City Hall, Peter Kirk Community Center, North Kirkland Community Center, and your local Kirkland and Kingsgate libraries. Just in case you've wondered what's been up with all that construction at Juanita Bay, well, here's a quick update. Development work at Juanita Beach Park is at the halfway point and will continue weather permitting. The projected opening of the park will be spring 2011. Now for an annexation update. Neighborhood Services and Planning Department staff, along with neighbors in the annexation area, have been working together to define neighborhood boundary concepts. The concepts were posted on the city website for annexation residents and businesses to submit their preferred options. Over 130 annexation neighbors have participated in meetings during the month of September to learn about neighborhood services and share their opinions about the boundary concepts. More than 300 online responses on the boundary concept have been received. On October 14th, beginning at 7 p.m., the Planning Commission will hold a public hearing to receive additional public comment and discuss the proposed boundaries. I've said it before, and I will say it again. You can access any of our programs on the web. Just visit the city's homepage and click Watch On Demand Programming. The Currently Kirkland team is a friendly bunch, and we'd love to hear from you. If you have a news tip, suggestion, or any comments, please send them to kirklandtv at ci.kirkland.wa.us. We will be taking a short break because of a furlough day and training for our esteemed city production team. Currently Kirkland will be back at the end of October. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you then.